Hi, this is Ken, a licensed acupuncturist and a certified Chinese herbalist. Today, I will continue to discuss the topical endocrine disorders. Common endocrine disorders for women are dysmenorrhea, acne on face, mood swings, and low back soreness, which are all related to the onset of menstruation. We will discuss these health problems from the perspective of Chinese medicine and Western medicine as well as how to maintain endocrine functions to improve the facial skin tone. From a traditional Chinese medicine perspective, normal endocrine functions must have a vigorous blood flow and qi, or energy, in the organs. When this occurs, our face is glowing. If women have endocrine disorders, it will mainly be related in menstruation and skin. When women have weak qi and blood, and or have poor circulation due to improper diet and daily life choices. It may cause cheese stagnation and blood status that impact physical and mental functions. So they often experience sub-health symptoms before menstruation, such as mood swings, acne on face, abdominal bloating and fatigue, etc. Women before menstruation have bodies that are in a state of stagnation. At this point, the woman's body holds great amount of qi and blood, but there's no place to release qi and blood. The stagnation of qi and blood will turn into heat and accumulate in the face. This causes acne. When menstruation occurs, the stagnant qi and blood will release, so the acne will automatically decrease. On the other hand, if the qi stagnation and the blood status is severe, the stagnant qi and the blood cannot be released during menstruation, then there will be severe dysmenorrhea in the lower region of abdomen. From a Western medicine perspective, the woman's ovaries mainly secrete two hormones. One is estrogen, and the other is progesterone during the menstrual cycle. The secretion of estrogen and progesterone is regulated by the pituitary gland, adrenal gland, and the thyroid gland. When the level of estrogen is normal, it will help regulate sebaceous gland secretion and reduce oil. The week before menstruation, women's estrogen level will decrease, while progesterone and male hormone testosterone in the body will relatively increase. These endocrine changes will cause an increase in the sebaceous gland. This secretion will block hair follicles, especially on the face. When the skin is infected by bacteria, it will cause inflammation and it will lead to the formation of acne. On the other hand, relatively high level of progesterone and testosterone can also cause anxiety and mood swings. Before menstruation, the uterus will secrete a large amount of prostaglandins. Its role is to allow the uterus to contract during menstruation to stop bleeding. Too much prostaglandin can also increase the intensity of uterine constrictions and cause severe dysmenorrhea. How do we maintain endocrine function to improve our facial skin tone? If your physical exam shows an abnormal endocrine response, please see a medical profession and or an endocrinologist immediately. How do we take care of and maintain our endocrine at home? I mentioned at the beginning of our discussion, to have normal endocrine function, one must have a vigorous blood energy or energy in the organs. Then our face may grow. Traditional Chinese medicine always emphasizes two important concepts of a healthy body. The first is a nice warm body temperature. The second is good blood circulation. Both are related. Most of organs related to menstruation, like ovaries, fallopian tubes, and the uterus are located in the pelvis. A cold sensation in the pelvis indicates poor blood circulation. It is also called cold wounds or gong han in traditional Chinese medicine. Cold wound or gong han refers to insufficient qi and blood circulation in the reproductive organs. So, the functions of organs will also be affected and cause endocrine disorders. Women with endocrine disorders usually have a cold feeling in the lower abdomen 
and hip area, acne on face, and mood swings. Therefore, to maintain and regulate the endocrine system, we must focus on these two important concepts, especially good blood circulation in the pelvis. Warming the pelvis, that is cold, is an essential treatment for improving fertility and pregnancy. What can we do? First, avoid consumption of ice drinks, cold and raw food a week before your period. Second, keep the lower abdomen and hip warm. Avoid sitting on a cold floor. If the endocrine disorders are caused by thyroid dysfunction, you can watch my previous video to take care of your thyroid. Now, I would like to introduce you a unique form of movement. These movements are called endocrine exercise. You can do it yourself at home to help balance endocrine functions. This unique exercise is created by my teacher, Mr. Gu, as you know from my previous videos. Mr. Gu integrates traditional Chinese medicine, bowing the energy art and Western anatomy to develop it. This exercise not only reduces stiff hip muscles, but also can make the body and especially the pelvis warm in a very short time. It can promote blood circulation around pituitary gland, adrenal gland, and hip area. A nice warm body temperature means good blood circulation. There are five basic moves for this endocrine exercise. Please follow my instruction. The first move, make a fist and put it on the area below the spinal process of the fourth lumbar vertebra at highest point of the iliac crease, which is at the fourth lumbar vertebra. Push the fist against this spot. Next, push the fist forward to move the pelvis forward and backward. When pushing forward, stretch spine up, tuck the abdomen and tight the hip and the butt. Do this move for 30 seconds. This is the first move. This move will stimulate the nerves in the lumbar and the hip area and warm the pelvis. The second move. First, cross the legs. Put hands on the knee. Next, bend the torso and the lean close to the knee. Inhale, put knee in. Squeeze legs tight. Tuck abdomen in. Tighten the hip and the butt and the left head up. Then exhale and relax. After 30 seconds, repeat with the other leg. This is second move. Squeezing and relaxing the pelvis muscles can stimulate the blood flow and pass through our internal organs. Sacral nerve stimulate result in uterine activity. The third move, cross the legs. Right leg is over left leg. Put the right hand on the right knee. Place the left hand on the right calf. Next, push the right leg inward. Bend the torso to the legs. Tight abdomen in. Tighten the hip and the butt. Lift head up and crunch teeth. Then relax. Do this move for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, repeat the other leg. Do this move for 30 seconds. This is the third move. This move also stimulates sacral nerve. This promotes the circulation in the internal organs. It is also stimulate the nerves between the brain and the pelvis. The fourth move. First, extend both arms forward as far as possible, palm facing out. Put the knees together, hold for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then, alternate. Extend the left and right arms forward and the palms facing out. Hold each hand and the palm facing out for 3 to 5 seconds. In the meantime, press your knee together and tuck in the abdomen. Do this move for 30 seconds. 
This is the fourth move. This move will stimulate blood circulation to the adrenal gland. The fifth move. Put both knee and feet together. Next, we will move the right and the left hip and alternate right and the knee to go forward and backward. Keep back straight. Tuck abdomen in and lift your head up. Do this move for 30 seconds. This is the fifth move. This move will warm the pelvis, legs, and feet. If you would like to work with me in real time, please follow this video. The key point in doing endocrine exercise is to make the body slightly warm, especially on the face, lower abdomen, and the hip area. A warm feeling means good blood circulation. I have a patient who is in her late 20s. She came to my office for treatment of dysmenorrhea and acne. Her menstrual cycle is normal. Acne appeared on her chin one week before her period. At the same time, she had abdominal distension and a chest tightness. She was also anxious and very sensitive and tearful. At the time of her period, her lower abdomen was quite painful. The patient reported that her lower abdomen hip and the feet usually feel cold. She also suffered from low back soreness during her period. At the beginning of the acupuncture treatment, I told her to do the endocrine exercise and the man placed needles on her. Meanwhile, I placed a heat lamp on her hip area. After the treatment, her menstrual pain was much better. I asked the patient to do the endocrine exercise at home every day. After three months, the combination of acupuncture and endocrine exercise helped her greatly. My patient found that her had no acne on her face before her period, and her dysmenorrhea was also reduced. She also mentioned her friend told her that she was smelling more than ever. This shows her mood has improved. This has been a discussion regarding the maintenance of endocrine disorders. If you are interested in learning more detail about the endocrine exercise, please contact me. In the future, we will discuss another very important endocrine disorder. The topic will be infertility and related health exercise. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is Kan Chen. Thank you for watching my video.